the first thing that I, you know, when I'm talking to a VP of sales, right, and he wants to implement a social selling program, the first question I always ask him is, why, right? Like, what do you want to get out of? Well, I mean, I guess I've never thought about that. Everybody else is doing it. Well, you know what? Everybody else is doing a lot of things, right? I mean, you know, first off is like, are your buyers even on social, right? If I was going to do social selling and I was in sales, I'd probably go on the LinkedIn sales navigator, put in my buyer persona and see what the numbers look like, right? I'd go in and I'd do the same thing on Twitter. So, you know, at first, First is, okay, why am I there? Well, the reason you should be there if you're in sales and you're during selling hours is so that you can do three things, right? And there's going to be one common theme. You can create a conversation, a one-to-one targeted conversation with somebody that could get value, you know, personally, professionally out of your product, right? You are there to strengthen conversation, which is, hey, I've got somebody in the sales process or um, I'm working on a channel partner or something and I've had the conversation now, you know, instead of selling all the time, which is phone, email, phone, email, I'm going to go and I'm going to leverage social channels to strengthen the conversation or get higher, right? Like we're in a buying decision, buying party now. So I've got five people that got to make a decision. I've had one demo with one person. Now I'm going to strengthen the conversation and get higher and kind of triangulate my way into those relationships, right? With the decision makers. The third piece is I'm going to strengthen the one-to-one targeted conversation with my customer, right? This is where a lot of salespeople don't get it. It's like, oh, I signed the deal. Perfect. Well, you know what? I'm just going to call in two months, check in, say, how are you doing? And then try to upsell them. No, that's not how this game works, right? As soon as you sign a customer and the way that my mind works is now I am an extension of their company, right? Because they bought my product. What that means is we are partners. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that they know I'm their number one fan and they know that I'm going to help them generate business because I'm going to constantly stay in front of them, sharing what they're doing, you know, giving them good content to help them use the product that we have. And I'm going to, I'm going to organically with the right motive over the two months period when I'm going to make a call, I'm going to call them and they're going to say, Jack, wow, you know, you've warm led me into a few people through social, you know, you're really just an amazing person, not just a salesperson, right? You're an amazing advocate. And if you're not doing those three things that all revolve around one-to-one targeted conversation, you know, you're doing it all wrong. You're just wasting your time and you're just social, you're building friendships.